crack on. If you appear in front of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet crack on, come up in front of me right now. Ugh, what's a freaking crack on? Hey. This place is very quiet. I love this character. Is one allowed to talk? Anyway, I was thinking, is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like... Uh, is she stoned? Some no. Cookies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the Kraken. She's a little kid. Possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you say? Well, I don't have any fish on me. I guess I won't be petting the Kraken. Was that the fish from the bridge? <laughs> I think he's happy because I saved him. You remember I saved him from the bridge? Remember? Mm. Yes, I remember. Did you see the kiss he gave me? <laughs> On my mouth? Because he was in love with me. Because I saved him. <laughs> Somebody loves me. Hey, Mysterious, are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? Miss Fortune, just <laughs> leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? Kiriba doko desu ka? So you don't know, huh? You know, I have never been outside this late by myself. Do you go outside by yourself this late? Every day? Are you going to eat my She's... chocolate coin? Ooh. Because I'm a bit hungry. Ah, uh, stop talking. Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, where are you going? <laughs> oh, no, can he swim? Hello? That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It oh. makes people want to drown themselves. Oh my ah, god. Stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Look, we have arrived. Oh man. Okay, we're here. Oh, look at all the <gasps> lost toys. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. Hello? She did. She totally did. Oh, oh, so it. clumsy. My little foot got stuck. Oh no. It's the monster, Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Miss Fortune, <laughs> slow down. What are you running away from? Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> yes, I do. I saw it. <sighs> don't make any sudden moves. Don't touch her. 
with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it. You're scaring him away. Don't leave, Benjamin. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Jeez. I still don't know who's Please on whose side, who's Stop what. Stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. <laughs> Stop running, please. She's gonna trip and hurt herself. <gasps> What's this? Really? You don't <sighs> remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. I know I could have been more specific, like, there's a bear trap up ahead, stop or you will be hurt. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay, thank you. Who left the bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was Stop obviously. saying it was the fox, fox, man. Also, I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. Huh. All right. Okay. Oh, this makes me think about Bobsy, you know? Did, did I show you Bobsy Actually, the educational? In the uh, secrets book? He will be know. very sad to know about this, you know? These bear traps. Because he's a teddy bear. He lives in a world of fantasy where there are no bear traps. And if he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. Now I see Bubsy being killed by a bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? About Bubsy, don't you listen? Let's keep going now, Miss Fortune. Bye, Bubsy. Trapped dead in the bear trap. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Let's see what this one says. It's stuck, huh? The elimination of Prime Eve will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay. It's stuck, huh? We can't take it anymore. Oh. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, this makes me think about Bobsy, you know? Did, did I show you Bobsy the Teddy in the secrets book? He will be very sad oh, to I don't know wanna... about this, you know? These bear traps. He lives in a world of <sighs> me. He will... Now I see Bobsy. That's how it is now. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? Bubsy, don't you? Let's keep going now, Miss Fortune. Bye, Bubsy. Trap. Trap. Man. So, Miss Fortune, I More have questions. a couple of Gosh. questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? Yes, yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is, oh. my sweet child. Moving on, second question. Do you trust me? just a voice in my head. Mommy talks to herself a lot too. She says it's her inner demons and that they just keep them away. I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, are you my inner demon? Me? A demon? <laughs> no. Nah, you can't be a demon. Not with that silly voice. <laughs> well, anyway, now for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? No, I'm not afraid of death because all, all, all dead people
people I know never came back from being dead. So it must be pretty cool to be dead. <laughs> well, that's one way to see it. You'll find out when you die. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know. Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here I'm while cool. you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. Okay. Oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> Ma'am, you are eight years old. Be brave, Miss Fortune. Okay, I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share that prize with us and everything will be fine. Some sweet style. I like it. I like it. Whoa, a video player. Fancy. Hmm. Fancy. I love how she says that fucking word. Fancy. In woods. Let's see. Benjamin's on TV. <laughs> Is that the monster? Damn it! I broke Benjamin's tape. Fix it. Happiness to the video player! <laughs> ah, what a cozy couch. Is that mm. Benjamin's diary? I won't spy on Benjamin's personal stuff. Yeah. Um. The meaning of love. <laughs> When hatred wants to be loved, the fun stories of a boring man, the upside of being a spirit animal, communication, key to cooperation, learning how to be gray, death after life. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> Benjamin! I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry. You can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Is that your diary? You want me to read it? Is that what you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. Okay. Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help. Missing victims in town. Morgo, no, I'm here. Morgo play old trick. Trick many times now, but it makes mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. Victim code misfortune is nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape. You can't hide the fucking children. knew it. This entire fucking time I knew it. Rescuing me, Benjamin, like if I was a girl in trouble.
I knew it. She's always falling. Benjamin, where do you go? Uh oh. Oh no, is this Benjamin? There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? I can't reach it. I'm okay. a little lady, you know. I can't <laughs> I, reach it. I didn't mean to I'm press that. I'm a little lady, you know. Right, come over here, we're gonna grab this. Uh-huh. Such a clever little lady. So silly. Time to use my ninja skills. Ma'am! Shh! What about Croc? <laughs> Be quiet! This is a ninja mission! Oh my... Benjamin, God. are you here? <laughs> so it was Benjamin placing these, but Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Uh-oh. Hmm... Kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Huh, it's locked. Okay, locked, got it. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Is that so? Hmm, a real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> a secret button. Oh man, sure. Alright then, I push the button. Easy. All right, time to find Benji. Oh. This oh, girl, that dude. Was unfortunate. I hope things get better when I get the eternal happiness. Okay, Miss Fortune, let's finish this. Get up, Miss Fortune. Come on, girl. You are stronger than you think. You are. Let's get it. Come on. You've been knocked down before. Many times, honestly. It's like every two seconds you get knocked down. Did you let that stop you? Nope, you didn't. You really didn't. Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Because. Because. Your little lady. You are the little lady, Miss Fortune. You are a little lady. You are the little lady. Okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Boys? I guess I'm alone. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Mm, dream come true. Oh. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> oh. Is that Benjamin's bag? Oh, Benjamin? No. Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. I knew I couldn't trust you. Yikes what forever. What are you talking about? Benjamin made it really clear with a picture he showed me. You're the one taking the children and I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You 
can make me. Yes, I can. Stop that. Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What did you do to him? Freaking monster. Let's see what's inside. Yeah. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. A clue. All right, let's see. Oh. <gasps> is that Benjamin as a baby? Oh, so cute. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you say? Uh-oh. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, for students at the University of Centered Sasasa Projector Course, Three Step Guide. Um, three Step Guide to Exterminate Parasitic Beings from the Beyond. As the ultra reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside the constituted free five realms of the essential existence have appeared. After the ultra war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We call it, we refer to it as the Beyond. Okay. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect with it in a logical manner. A few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter their third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. Projectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them into centers to CCC. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. Okay. Projector must locate the victims and, and the parasite. Projector's paras or protector's parasite case. Morgo. Evaluated the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Uh, need of assistance checklist. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead but doesn't realize it. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. The parasite. Yeah. <sighs> Deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. Chafe ships into human animal creature. Is the voice also Benjamin? Is the voice also Benjamin? Large flocks of burlac birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Paint? I like to paint. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces. <sighs> Prepare for direct contact with... With the what? Now I will never know. Probably the parasite? <laughs> oh man. Now everything's top is it Jersey. I'll take the train back home. Oh, yeah? Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. Okay. I'll wait here. Wait him, wait him for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna 
I'll talk to myself. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin, and now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> oh. Oh. I wish I had my coloring book with me. Ugh. Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. Hm. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. Mm. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. I get the feeling that Mr. Voice is not who he says he is. Have you ever heard voices in your head? Behind it. Consequences I know of the Hira. What does it mean? Be aware. It's the monster. Leave Hira alone. Tuskata. Tuskata. Wow, okay, well, that didn't work. I hope I get to see Hiro again. I wonder what the monster did to him. Uh, now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. That's probably a if good idea. If was here, he would walk with me. Uh... Would he though? Would he? Because I'm a little concerned. <clears throat> Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's what I am. Oh. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. Give yourself a fuck. I'm gonna say that from now on. And yikes forever. I'm gonna say that as well. Huh, where's the car? Is daddy gone again? We got red lights. I like them. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? This is not what our house looked like. What's that sound? Benji? Why is it empty? Hello? Mommy? Benji? What happened here? Congratulations, you reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your Mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good, good. Ready for a new game? If I play alone, Will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will. 
but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait. Stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! Uh, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... wait. What? No deal. No. No. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I promise you know the way. That's... I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. Yeah, probably. If Mr. Voice scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. Okay, I'm just gonna play this game one last time. I don't wanna play this game. I don't wanna play his game. Um Oh god. Oh. oh no, not again. You promised he wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. New game. Knock knock. Who's there? Ma, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock knock. Who's there? You're scaring me, stupid. Leave me alone. What happened here? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, sweet unicorn. Please take me to your rainbow kingdom. So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time. And his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. <coughs> you silly little child. Another toy for my collection. You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Benjamin! 
really fucking bright. to rebuild this. Yes. I'll make some improvements, but first I want to thank Benjamin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's pick up this first, yeah? Margo's coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. Margo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Benjamin, did you go outside? Benjamin, okay. where are you? Okay, through here we go. Mom's not here though. Mommy? It's still October 11th. It says October 11th still. Maybe they just don't update their calendar. Mommy! Okay. I'm back! Mommy, don't ignore me. Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? What's happening? Mommy? Oh. This must be a bad dream. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that... Taking me somewhere else because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. <sighs> mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else with Benji, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while. But you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever.
Stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Benji? I recognize all these people. I recognize all these people. If you guys have watched or played Fran Bo, you guys recognize these guys too. Does it matter? Like, is this... Okay. I don't think anything different happened. It's not what I meant. Disappear deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Huh, I guess Mr. Boy's game is over now. Benji? Who are you? I'm a little lady, Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Misfortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. Okay. What is this place? 